Minasan. Konnichiwa. All right, let's just jump right into it. Is Suzuki Goon the best heel stable in all of pro wrestling right now? I think that's more a subjective question than anything, but quite frankly, I think the answer. But in my personal opinion, I think the answer is yes. I mean, let's 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 look at their track record of, of things that they've done. If, if 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 nothing else, they put on some of the best matches and cause some of the best stories in pro wrestling. Like the the current story with with the Suzuki Goon and Noah. That's prom. I already did this video before of Suzuki Goon versus Noah. So that's actually what prompted this video. Quite frankly, that's like the best invasion angle I've ever seen. And it still is. There are a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of um, invasion angles that come close and like that. But I think the best ever to do it is Suzuki Goon versus Noah. Um, but just to give a recap for those of you who don't know, um, Laptops over here this time instead of over here. I, 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 it, my room's a mess right now. I'm kind of glad you guys can only see part of the mess. Um, anyway, like I was saying, um, moving on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just look at who's currently in Suzuki Goon. And if I butcher the names, which I probably will, please forgive me. This 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 is a guy who's still trying to make sure I get all the, you know names correct. Um. Let's just start with let's just start with the leader and like kind of break down the strengths and weaknesses of each one. Um, Minoru Suzuki. I could literally make another video about him, and I probably will, and it would be all strengths. I really can't think of many weaknesses this man actually has, if he even has any. Um, guys, 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 a doer. He's a he's a he's a rough customer, man. It's. He's one of those guys who I don't think can really have like a bad match. I mean, I'm sure there are matches where you know he can quote unquote take it easy, but I don't think he can have a bad match. The guy is just you know amazing. I mean, he had a match with AJ Styles uh, about a year or so ago that was match of the year. Um, he's been wrestling a while, but you know he's still one of the guys who can hold his own and will always be able to in that ring until I think he's until he's done with you know wrestling. Um. Uh, Takamichi Noku. People probably remember him from his old WWF days, uh, with Kai and Tai, you know, with um, you know, um, uh, Funaki-san, and I'm sure you know a lot of people have good memories of him, and you know he he fits in great with the group. Tai Chi, there's a character. <laughs> I love Tai Chi. I think he's I think he's kind of kind of a hilarious guy to see, but uh, but I I, th I think I think he's definitely a, a character, and he's definitely you know. One of the one of the odd members in Suzuki Goon, but he does fit. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm gonna get to the, and there, there there are some names that you guys are gonna notably not, noticeably miss, but I'm gonna get to those in a minute. Um, Lance Archer and Davy Boy Smith Jr. The Killer Elite Squad. I have gone on and on about Lance Hoyt, Lance Archer. Same guy, different different names. Um, I could and probably will again do a video for Killer Elite Squad. You can see how many people have missed the boat out on both those guys, on both Archer and Smith, by how well they do in Japan. You know, two time, two time, two time. Yes, two time IWGP Heavyweight Champions, and the current reigning for I. I think it's it's been well over a year. I know that for sure. Let me see how many days it's been exactly. Um, uh, GHC heavyweight tag team champions. Let me see how many days it's been exactly as of this video. As of this video, which is uh, uh, March twenty first, they've been champions for over four hundred days. That's something. I guess anyone that's from two guys who uh, WWE missed the boat on. TNA missed the boat out on on Lance so many times I can't even get an account, but that's another video getting all together. Um, so yeah. Um, also in the stable, Shelton Benjamin or Shelton X Benjamin. 
long story there. Uh, not really long. It's just uh, when Suzuki was trying to get someone to challenge Nakamura for the IWGP Intercontinental title. Uh, it was listed as just, uh, just the wrestler just mentioned as just X until he debuted and he was in Shelton X Benjamin, who I think has really found his niche with the with Suzuki Goon. Um, Takashi Takashi uh, Izuka. I'm sorry if I screwed that name up, and I know I probably did. Um, used to be in Chaos, ditch Chaos, jumped to Suzuki Goon. Um, he is great at. Just, just getting those DQ wins, man. But known for just like you know, he's he's kind of he's kind of like the assassin of the group. You know, he, he he's good, but he's the guy who's gonna go out. He's gonna intentionally lose, but he's gonna get in that th those those sits with that loaded glove of his, and I love it. Um, El Desperado, I'm including him on this list, but let's be honest. Um, if those of you who follow who follow, uh, um. Noah lately, he might be on his way out of the group. Uh, they're a little, uh, Suzuki Goon's a little disappointed in, in El Desperado lately. Let's see what happens there. I'm very interested in that story. Uh, I was actually going to do this video a few a few days sooner than this, but then I read that, that he was, that they're looking at maybe kicking him out of the group, so I waited until that, until to, I waited a little while to see what was going on there. He's still in right now as of this video today. But we'll see what happens. Um, that's actually pretty interesting. It's got my attention for sure. Now, I know that there are two names that I left out. And those of you who are either who either know or either on the Suzuki Goon Wikipedia page right now, looking at it and saying, "Wait, he didn't mention two people." I'm going to get to that. But this is also what I want to talk about. Suzuki Goon's invasion of Noah was, like I said, one of the best invasion angles ever done in pro wrestling. And I think the reason is is because Suzuki didn't go in and meander his way into creating Suzuki Goon from the ground up. He already had him. He already had his group. They literally invaded. They literally came in and I always say I was use use the vernacular com, you know completely completely my translation of after he beat uh Sakabura at Wrestle Kingdom uh nine I believe. Yeah it was Wrestle Kingdom nine. And he he literally was he literally said, Okay, now that this is done what was Noah doing here, and why did they beat up my guys? This requires me to investigate, and so they went to Noah and beat up everybody. So, <laughs> um, I think, and, and and that's and that's one thing I I think is why uh, uh, Suzuki is the best heel stable, and just one of the best stables period in pro wrestling. And the one thing I wanted to make clear about this video is this is not me putting down like Bullet Club. Or heel stables like uh, um, you know New Day Pro uh, Pro Wrestling Gorillas, um, Mount uh, Mount Rushmore of Wrestling, nothing like that. Or even uh, Los uh, Incorrables uh, de Japón in New Japan. I screwed that deal too. Forgive me. Um, it's late and I'm tired. Um, but I think overall, as a heel stable, just overall heel stable things, I think Suzuki Goon just has it on lock. Um, they've got amazing talent, they've got amazing leadership for that talent, and they've got amazing stories built around them. The, I think, I think my favorite things about, about anything that came out of wrestling last year were primarily from New Japan and from Noah versus Suzuki, you know, especially when they had the, uh, tournament where it came down to, uh, uh, Marafuji and Shelton. And you know, and that 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 to me also was also kind of genius booking because, you know, Suzuki Goon had positioned themselves to still take over and shut down Noah because one of their guys was in the finals. Um, Killer Elite Squad still the reigning heavyweight champion, heavyweight tag team champions, and at one point Suzuki Goon did have all of Noah's belts. They had every single one. There wasn't there wasn't a belt that Noah has currently active that Suzuki Goon did not have control of. And now, granted, they have, you know, the um, heavyweight, just the heavyweight and the heavyweight tag belts back. I think it's just those two. Yeah, it's just, uh, oh. That's why, that's right, that's right. I forgot, the, the junior heavyweight belt is also in their position as well. That's because, of course, the last thing I didn't mention, uh, Takashi, Sugura, and Yoshinobu Kanamaru. Both these guys are Noah veterans. But to use vernacular that's been used for Paul Heyman, they sip some of the Suzuki Kool-Aid and... 
and they were that time bomb. Or the, I think kind of more was the time bomb, and I think uh, it was it was was, was, was the girl a time bomb too? They call him that too, or they just well, he's just like just the guy he had in the, in the weights. I don't know. Either way, um, and that's also this other thing is that they have an amazing talent roster just in their group, and I mean that's like what? How many guys do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten guys. In some places, that's the entire roster. So, <laughs> they can literally have matches with each other, and it'd still be a great, great show. Um, as a matter of fact, they're even producing. They're, 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 even, they're doing a second time. A, a Suzuki Goon produced Noah show called "We Are Suzuki Goon." Come on. I mean, NWO did that, yeah. But then they had, then again, they had forty-five people on their talent roster. <laughs> They did, you know. It, I just respect the level of heel talent that they have there. I, I appreciate a good a good heel for wrestling. And if anyone says the words Triple H, I, 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 I ignore that. Anyway, um, but no, I think that one of the coolest things that actually did help Noah a lot was this cross promotion was this invasion from Suzuki Goon to attack them i think Suzuki Goon doesn't get enough credit that and that and that's that's the big deal everyone goes on about bullet club and chaos and deservedly so i'm not knocking those those stables i love bullet club i love chaos i love you know the the all the hill stables you know opera wrestling i love the, what these guys do but i don't think Suzuki gets enough credit for not only being a heel stable but being one of the best at it they're not really there to be cr crowd popular bullet club um New Day and WWE, you know, Mount, Mount Rushmore, they're still kind of crowd popular, they're still kind of crowd pleasers. Suzuki Goon does not care. And they make that very clear. Now, they are still over as All Outdoors, one of the most popular things to me in all of not only just pro wrestling, but not just Japanese pro wrestling, but all pro wrestling because, I mean, heck, look, God, look how many times Lance Archer comes to, you know, Texas, and he's, he's such a hot commodity here, and that's partly because of Suzuki Goon, and that's nothing. They've done what companies didn't do with some of these guys. How do you have guys like Shelton Benjamin, Lance Archer, and uh, David Boy Smith Jr., and not have them as credible like talents? You have them doing, you know, dumb gimmicks and everything. Shelton, ben Shelton next Benjamin is just being himself, and Killer Elite Squad is just e is just an amazing tag team. I've seen that killer bomb live and in person. It didn't get done to me, thank God. And if Lance, if you're watching this, which I hope you do, I never want the killer bomb done to me. Let's make that infinitely clear. Um, but, you know, there's a reason that those guys are tag champs for you. There's a reason that, you know, Suzuki brought in Shelton Benjamin to be in his stable and all that kind of thing. There's reasons why these guys are one of the best stables in wrestling history. I don't think they get enough credit. And I don't think they. Then I don't think they get enough recognition for all that they've done. I think, and I, and I think, and I think the biggest reason for their success is their namesake, the man himself, Minoru Suzuki. I think he's one of the best in pro wrestling. Period. All around, wrestling wise, character wise, you know, uh, just his expressions when he's talking, just his expressions when he's wrestling. Especially when you know when he when he's just standing for pictures. This guy is very expressive with his face. He has this arrogant air about him, deservedly so. And I think this is just a guy who is just the reason a lot of people in pro wrestling have careers, have gotten over, have gotten recognition, and he deserves some too. And he's and he and because of that, I think the stable that he leads is full of guys who deserve recognition. Not just the Killer Elite Squad, not just Shelton Benjamin, but you know Tai Chi, Taka, Desperado, uh, everyone. In, in the, I mean, they, I mean, they have control of three quarters of Noah's belts. They own them. They are they run them. They they and they are just deciding to, to run shows on who's going to be on them and who's not going to be on them. They're they're sending invitations, and you know, and now you have guys who were 
who, who come back to the world, like Go Shiozaki, who came back, and Tanaguchi, who took off his mask to tag with Shiozaki again, and they have guys like uh, Nakajima ste- stepping up to fight Suzuki. And you, you, they, they have created all this tension in Noah and forced guys to get better. They forced the hand of Noah to to make their roster push so they can kick Suzuki Goon out. Ain't done it yet, but you see my point. Suzuki Goon exists, I think, as one of the best hill stables because they are not only a great hill stable, they are a great benchmark. You wanna you wanna get to this level, this is this is Suzuki Goon. You want to get past this level, you got to get over on these guys. And I don't mean get over as far as like, you know, oh, beat them all and like that. I mean, their, their talent is up here. You want to be recognized, you get up here. They have the talent for it. And they're, and they're, that, ama- and they're that amazing with it. And like I said, it's a great stable full of great wrestlers. And one of the greatest of all time is their leader. They have one of the greatest of all time as their leader, some of the greatest junior heavyweights, some of the greatest heavyweights, and one of the greatest heavyweight tag teams we'll ever see. Especially in this era of pro wrestling. And in the past 10 years or so, there's very few tag teams who have been as good and have been on as meteoric a rise as Killer Elite Squad. Suzuki Goon's the reason for that. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with saying that whatsoever. And I don't think there's anything wrong with absolutely with um, Suzuki Goon being recognized as one of the best stables in all of pro wrestling. So instead of my usual sign offs tonight, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So if you guys agree with me or you don't agree, post your comments down below. Like and subscribe to this video. And like and subscribe, like and, like and favorite this video. Subscribe to my channel for me and look out for more videos in the future. And instead of Mina san Sayonara, I will simply say Suzuki Goon Ichiban.